to Cal, obviously, you know, you've seen with content and stuff, like, obviously, for us, this is, this is, I think, a bit of fun that we, that we kind of want to do it as a bit of a passion play, right? It's something that's yeah. interesting. But, again, I think, I think the common theme that everyone, when you, when you meet people that like golf, it becomes a real obsession, right? And I think that that, that for me, is to find, you know, we want to play, with, play golf with interesting people and, and, and hear their stories and hear about kind of, kind of where they come from and what their futures are. Obviously, you know, you mentioned that on the course around, um, you know, how you got into it, your first paycheck, which always is a yeah. pleasure. Always a shock. And then, you know, I guess from that, that momentum, I mean, from a content creation perspective, you know, my, my children watch YouTube a lot and, and, you know, more and more kids now are saying they want to be content creators, right? Because, you know, there's a living out there and a very good one, I hasten to add, you know, in, being, in, in doing this. But, you know, any advice you've got for kids that, that kind of, you know, even the younger ones that want to just start filming yeah. them. So, you know, my, my boys film little skits and stuff like that and, it, and it's yeah. amazing to watch them do it. Yeah, no, I think, especially now more than ever, it's never been easier to become, to, yep. to create content. Like, literally, you don't need to go out and buy a camera. Like, it's all well and good having nice cameras to shoot stuff, but you don't need that to start off. Um, I know, like, back in my day, I didn't, I, you couldn't even really do it properly. People were using, like, the built-in webcams on their laptops and stuff. <laughs> like, that's what you would film with. Um, so now, yeah, just having having a phone in your pocket, even if it's, you know, making TikToks, YouTube shorts, things like that. Like, even if you just want to start off there, I think like, that's such a great place to do it. If you have a little bit more, you know, you want to make longer form yeah. type of stuff, you know, using your iPhone, landscape, like you can just do it through there. A lot, a lot of YouTubers, even to this day, still only use their iPhone, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Um, so yeah, this idea that it has to be like some really big budget thing is just completely out of there. But the one thing it does take is a proper go at it. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people will, will do these things and expect really quick success. Yeah. And it just doesn't work like that. I know for me, it took me, I mean, obviously this is a long time ago, but even still to this day, I think, I think the sentiment's the same, but it took me a year just to get a thousand subscribers. Yeah, sure. Right, so there has to be that element, like there has to be that graft. And what are you and on it, now? <laughs> now we're, I think, um, four million or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so it's insane, though, right? Four yeah, yeah, no, it's it's amazing, but you know that's twelve years. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's like of consistent stuff. Like yeah, that, yeah, consistent. yeah. I mean, that, that, that's a big thing. That's something that we preach, even when it, it at the studios when when doing podcasts. And I think it it goes actually just across anything in life. Really, is just your consistency. If you if you don't have consistency, you'll see no progress. Yeah, yeah, and sure. It's just it's just the way the world works now, and because everybody's making stuff, you can separate yourself by being the most consistent, constantly putting out high quality content is is rare. Yeah, no, I get that. You know, we discussed it on the course. You've got the studio now that you yeah. that you kind of kind of invest time realistically. I yeah, guess, a lot of my time goes into that now, yeah. which is good. It gives me a it gives me a nice little break away from because I've been making YouTube videos exclusively for like twelve years now. Yeah. So to be able to spend my time doing something a little bit different and just going through the the whole pro process of having like a startup business and going through the motions it's been it's been a lot of fun and so far so good so i can't really complain and how do you see when when you look at the i guess the, you call them youngsters right you're all young yeah. to me but like if you <laughs> the youngsters coming through like do you what, what do you look for in them when you're kind of looking for people to bring into the studio like yeah. what, what kind is the, I mean, it the just thing? has to be something different really right, like okay. a lot of the time people people will just try and replicate what someone else has done and right. sometimes that works but a lot of the time they'll be able to put their own spin on things so you're looking for someone that is one really comfortable in front of the camera yep. And secondly, just brings their own their own twist to things. Yeah. A lot, yeah. Too many people just try and do the same thing over and over, and just think they can just do it better. Yeah. And that it just isn't how things work. So unless you're doing your own own thing, it's it's a waste of time. So our job is to find the people that are that are doing that and that sort of excite us at the office that go, oh wow, this person's definitely got something about them. Is there a way that we can make make something work with them? So. And it must be about energy, right? As well, like when you think yeah. about, like we we always look at. You know, I've always run technology companies, and when you look at people that are either in sales or marketing that go and face customers and stuff, you there's always that sort of energy you can sense in someone that has a point of difference, and it's like the little yeah. vibe. And I guess that if that can be seen by someone else, it really gives you sort of uh, something to go after, right? Massively, yeah. And it's what I mean. I've been doing it for twelve years, so yeah. I like to think I have a decent knack at being able to spot those people. But then you also get certain people that have all that energy, but they're just a bit too unhinged. And, um, <laughs> yeah. A lot, well, a lot of people. Uh, they come up really quickly and so and it all happens really fast yeah. and then that that can often be to to their detriment because they don't really know what hard work in that sense looks like 
So they just came up. They're like, oh, this is a this is a breeze. But in order to stay at that top, it's actually a, it's a real it's a grind. It's yeah. easy to go up, but you can yeah. come down just as yeah. quick as you went up. So it's about staying at the top. And the only people that manage that are the ones that actually put in put in the effort. So you have to you know you don't want to be working alongside someone that is just a bit wishy washy and, and not up for up for the long haul. And the effort really is is. Because when you see the outputs of these things, right, and you think to yourself, well, actually, you know, how much, you know, anyone could do it, but it's a full-time, you know, it's a, it a full-time yeah. job, right? Like, you have to completely and utterly, you know, just keep going and going and produce so much content, right? It's, you know, it's not a small amount of effort. It's you a know, proper people, graph, yeah. yeah. Like, and I think that's, it's easy, people people will just see this, but they don't see the stuff happening behind the scenes, they don't see the, the edit versions, they don't realise that actually it takes a lot to get to that point, and yep. the actual filming of it is like, a fifth of the process. Yeah, sure. So th there's a lot more to it than, than meets the eye. Anyway, no, look, thanks so much again, right? We, we, um, you know, our golf friends is, is something that is a passion project, as I said, that we've been, that we've started. And, uh, uh, but it's been a real learning curve for, for, for us as well in terms of creating content and, and understanding yeah. the, the, the pitfalls. This is obviously our first go, so there's going to be some, some edges. But, Cal, for you, what, in, in your future, like, what do you, what do you see in your future? Because obviously, like, yeah. you, you sort of mentioned earlier that, or before that, I think it was the first six holes um, that, you know, being behind the camera becomes as, as exciting sometimes as yeah. being in front. What, what, what do you see next? I, yeah, I think it's just continuing on with, uh, on, the, on the path that, that I'm on yeah. at the moment. And, and that is behind the camera working yeah. and, and building this up. It's something new. It's exciting and it's going well. So it's, you know, why not? Why not keep going? And I think, yeah, I think it just, it, it's just a natural progression, yeah. you know. You, you, it, it's true. You, you only have a certain amount of time in front of the camera, yep. and I, I'm at the point now where, you know, it's still going. It's going. It, it, weirdly enough, it's going better than it ever has before. But it's just, I, I think, from my own mindset as well, doing the twelve for twelve years, doing the same thing over and over. You yep. need that breakaway. So that's what this is, and um, yeah, it's exciting. We'll just see where it goes. I've, 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 people always go like, oh, what, what's your five year plan? Yeah. yeah. I've never had no. one. I've, I've not even had like a year plan at times. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. And so far that's been pretty good. And being able to be flexible is also. When, did, you, when did it like become a business? I know it sounds silly because yeah. there's like, there's, there's two ways of looking at this, right? And, and some people have a great lifestyle business in general, yeah. right? You can have like a little, you know, a website that sells online or something like that. You can have a nice, a nice lifestyle. When did it become a business for you? Like as in you, this is a, cause, cause you've got a lot of, you've got a team around you, you've yeah. got payroll. When did it become serious? Maybe, well, probably when I hired like my first, just the first person, because a lot of this was just done one man army right, type, okay. um, type thing. And that was probably going on for like six years. And then, the, and then six years, well, I had one person working with me, for me for, you know, probably like three or four. And then from there, that's probably when it started feeling. So over the last like three years, I'd say, since it really built out. Um, and I think that was just also be, from a state of, I changed my mindset a little bit about it before it was all just, you know, trying to make as much money as possible, but actually now just reinvesting a lot of that money into thing and then seeing the dividends that way has, uh, has seriously paid off. And it also frees up a lot of my time to come and do stuff like this yep. as well. Whereas before I just have no time for it. Yeah. You wouldn't have all in sort of thing. And yeah. then, and, and on, on that sort of known of business, you, you were saying that, you know, you just raised a, an investment round, right? Yeah. Which is yeah. pretty exciting. You know, I've, I've raised some money on time and it is, it, it's a stressful time. You know, you know and, I mean? and you just want to get on no, with it. I had no fucking idea what I was doing. <laughs> I'm not like, why the hell would people give me their money? Um, so I had a, a really steep learning curve there. Yep. I have some well, great people in the team, great people in the company that, that helped me through the process. So that was that was amazing. But um, yeah, just went through that whole thing. And now it feels like another chapter has been unlocked now that that's happened. And we can really kick on with a lot of the ideas and what we believe in. So yeah, it's going to be really exciting. That's good. Well, congratulations, mate. Well, Thank look, you. thanks again, boys. It was uh, great fun. Always a pleasure. A bad day on the course is uh, better than a good day in the office. So, uh, thanks. He, yeah. He's, he's, he's going to go and get his money back. But he could probably go and sell them and yeah. get enough for petrol home. Right. Thanks very much. Cheers, Cal. Thanks. Cheers, Cheers, Jack. Cheers, Jack. Cheers, Cheers, boys. Thank you.